There are some people who think you're not supposed to talk about the tech news. Who are don't, these people? Don't listen to them, Linus. Were they in the comments? I don't... Well, that's not a very nice thing to say. That's, that's yeah. all we do. Yeah. That's all we do is talk about the tech... Well, you know what? We are not to be deterred. We are going to talk about the tech news. We're going to talk about it hard. Yeah! We might not talk hard, but we're going to make talking about it look hard. Okay. Last night, the friendly spirit of the gaming industry, Jeff Keighley, hosted the 5th Annual Game Awards, which has become kind of less about actual awards and more about the ridiculous number of announcements and trailers that get released at the same time. Like, we've got roundups of the biggest news and the news sources down below, but here's some of the highlights. The creators of Ark Survival Evolved are making Atlas, a vaguely pirate-themed MMO that also has monsters, dragons, and who knows what else. Obsidian's The Outer Worlds is kind of like Fallout in space, but with more jokes. Yeah, Fallout's not very funny. PS4 exclusive Journey is coming to the PC via the new Epic Games Store. Far Cry New Dawn is a post-apocalyptic sequel to Far Cry 5, a rare sequel for the series. Mind you, they're all kind of, well, they're numbered but not sequels. And Mortal Kombat 11 is a thing. We, got a, we also got a new, tra oh my goodness, this is just the highlights? A new trailer for Anthem. Mm. It's good? I haven't played it yet. What do you mean? You, you, it says you're in the closed alpha and you're yeah. excited. Who wrote this? I, I am excited. You wrote that you have it and you're excited, but yeah. then when I question you about it, you just say you haven't played it. It looks good. <laughs> and CSGO has gone free to play with an added battle royale mode. Cool. I can't wait to definitely play all of those games with all the free time I have. The world's talking about Huawei right now, and not in a particularly good way. Japan and British Telecom BT have announced that they are following the US, Australia, and New Zealand in banning the Chinese tech giant's 5G networking equipment because of fears that the Chinese government is using Huawei as a tool for espionage, which is a fancy word for spying. Never mind the fact that just shortly after announcing their ban, the Australian government introduced a bill that would allow themselves to take user data from tech companies at will, leading to backlash from Facebook, Google, and others. They were like, no, this is our stuff to take from people at will. Indeed. To complicate matters even further, the Canadian government just arrested Huawei's chief financial officer, also the daughter of the company's founder, here in Vancouver, like literally, like 40 kilometers that way, on charges of violating US sanctions against Iran. So China has demanded her release and now the whole situation is just generally pretty messed up. It looks like Huawei is gonna be like at the center of tensions between China and the West, which is kind of a shame because the Mate 20 Pro, it's a cool phone. It's a great phone. It's a cool phone. Yeah. But you know, maybe it's fine because we're all gonna get killed by robots before anything really bad happens anyway. DeepMind, the company behind the AI AlphaGo, which became famous last year for beating one of the world's best Go players, has announced that AlphaGo has amassed enough energy to evolve to a higher plane of existence. Ooh. Alpha Zero is an AI that teaches itself how to play games rather than learning from human players. Using that strategy allows Alpha Zero, the zero is for zero humans required right. anymore, yeah. to develop what its creators call creativity and intuition. It took three days for Alpha Zero to teach itself how to beat the reigning chess AI champ, Stockfish, and DeepMind wants to take Alpha Zero's creativity and apply it to human problems that matter a little bit more than chess. Oh, come on, chess is cool. Eh. Chess matters. Eh. But we best be careful, or we might get more incidents like the recent one involving an Amazon robot inadvertently opening up a sealed can of bear mace, sending 24 <laughs> warehouse workers to the hospital. Now that is a creative way to get some time off. That's a smart robot. That's not funny. They had to go to the hospital. They got bear maced. I'm, well, I'm well sorry. robot maced. Try 
trying to make jokes here. It's time for Nippy Nips, brought to you by Team Group's Thank Miss Special Sale. You can get your hands on T-Force Excalibur Special Edition DDR4 RAM with a unique totem pattern design. They're compatible with a variety of RGB softwares like R-Sync, RGB Fusion, and more, and they're available in speeds of 3600 or 4000 megahertz. They also work with XMP 2.0 one-step overclocking, and you can click the link below to get a set of these and other Team Group products on sale at their Thank Miss Sale page. It's down there. T-Force activate. T-Force activate! Qualcomm thinks that you deserve an ARM-powered chip inside your Windows 10 laptop, and they will not stop until that's a reality. The company just announced the Snapdragon 8 CX, specifically designed for Windows machine and apparently boasting similar performance to an Intel Core i5, uh -huh. though they haven't specified which Core i5, and there are a lot of them. There it is. Their demo had a laptop powering two 4K displays with a dozen browser tabs open in Chrome and Firefox. Oh, hold on a second. Yeah. How many tabs? A dozen. A dozen? What? Tabs? Yeah. How, how much RAM did it use? I mean, it was Chrome, so like, yeah, I don't, I don't they, they don't have numbers that high. 128 gigs. UK-based telecom O2 suffered a day-long outage yesterday, apparently caused by a software problem in Ericsson equipment. Ericsson took responsibility for the outage, which also affected SoftBank users in Japan. This is who we're supposed to trust instead of Huawei? Yeah. Ericsson doesn't make the Mate 20. That's true. And it's a pretty good phone. It's a great phone. Fans of PewDiePie have bought billboards, they've hacked printers, all in an effort to try to persuade people to subscribe to the number one most subscribed creator on YouTube. Is he still number one? Yeah. And now, Sonos Audio Systems are the latest victim of his fans. I have a Sonos system. Sonos has acknowledged some of its users receiving messages telling them to subscribe to PewDiePie who is trying to keep his number one spot against Indian music channel T-Series, which has been steadily gaining ground. Oh boy. Yep. Well, um... Time to switch to Apple's HomePod. Yeah. Concerned about home defense? Ah. Well, good news. We now live in a reality where you can buy drones to protect your property, really? The bee! A drone, may oh funny, made by Sunflower Labs. Oh, oh, I love, I love these guys already. Lives in a base station in your yard, and periodically leaves to survey the grounds, sending a 1080p video stream to your phone in the event that it detects something. So, okay, maybe it won't actually protect your property, but if you wanted a, a more high-tech version of a small, yappy, annoying dog that breaks down, you are now covered. <laughs> okay, to be clear, okay? I don't know that it'll break down, it might be amazing. Speaking of things that might be amazing, but might also break down, the beta and launch of Fallout 76 may go down as one of the worst game launches in history. And remember, this is a history where like, man, what's, what are some really bad game launches? Like E.T., the extraterrestrial, okay, exists. The latest scandal in the news is that Bethesda has accidentally released players' private information, including type of credit card, email, and home address. The issue is apparently fixed now, but still, I mean, at this point, it's not clear whether Bethesda is trying to make a Fallout game or turn the world into a post-apocalyptic wasteland. They're getting there. They're getting there. I said elliptic, but I meant post-apocalyptic. I know how that word works. You guys have been watching the show a long time. You know I know what that word is. And you know, and if you don't know, then make sure you subscribe so that next time you can hear me say it correctly. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a good segue. I like that one. I'm just gonna take my shirt off. Oh no! Give the people what they Not want! Again! <laughs> okay, I don't even right. know if that was a good I, I liked it. That episode. Okay.